that out of time again. I am extremely excited. Uh, I'm just going to head off in about an hour. And I am getting an image of Zendaya and Dune. So I don't know if you know, but I'm a massive sci-fi fan, huge Dune fan. I think it may be my favourite film now. Yeah, I like I previously mentioned, I'm going sci-fi themed for the foreseeable future. So super excited to get this. I'm getting it on my thigh. I just like the front part of my thigh. So really all the way, like between kneecap and groin is going to be this image and I have to say there's a bit of a trepidation about getting it on my thigh I it's a soft area I think the front will probably be the least painful part to get done I imagine the side will be hell as well the back so maybe that's why I am <laughs> getting the front done first and also you know I've got my full calf tattooed so it'll look it's linear progression you know the full front of my leg will be done then which I'll I'm really happy about that look cool on holiday and stuff so a bit of trepidation but I'm using numbing cream it's the second time I've used it and it was very effective last time it really really helped so hopefully we'll be okay and I won't be uh, squirming with pain I'm actually going to track my calories today to see how many calories I burn uh, when I'm getting tattooed because I think it will actually be quite substantial I spoke to my coach and I said listen I usually eat a bit more on a tattoo day so she's put me on a refeed day so you know I will be eating more it's in a controlled way and it's still good whole foods that will be fueling my body and not just you know making me retain water because I'm eating lots of sugary snacks I've got my packed lunch made up like I did before as well, got my wee uh, bag of tricks so I've got yoghurt and berries, I've got chicken and rice with avocado, charger, obviously I'm going to take my camera, painkillers and I've got old shorts to wear because obviously the ink splashes a bit so I don't want to ruin any of the ones that I wear to the gym now so I've just got like a pair of old running shorts that I'm going to wear and yeah that's it, I'm super super excited like you know I've said it before I just want to be fully covered that's that's my goal and as quickly as we can get to that you know, happier I'll be and like I say you know I've mentioned before like Sebastian's my guy I would never go anywhere else he's bulletproof so I'm excited because it's a guaranteed good result anyway I've um, prattled on long enough so let's do it let's go come on And we're back. So it's the following day. And I have to say it went really well. <coughs> Excuse me. The numbing cream really done its job. Like, see initially, I didn't even feel it. It's such a bizarre feeling. Like, you're aware that someone is touching you, but you just, you have no sensation. And I'm really stating the obvious to anyone who's used numbing cream before, but for me, it's been a revelation. Um, so like the first few hours, I felt nothing. And then even as it started to gradually wear off, like, all of the areas stayed numb for the entire thing. So I, you know, articulate enough how much of a godsend it was. It just, you know, made the, it just expedited the whole process so much more. It just made it so much more seamless, so much less painful. So I'm always surprised about how hungry I get when I'm getting a tattoo, like I'd said to Sebastian at one point, do you mind if we stop in five so I can get something to eat? And I ate my chicken and rice the way my Rottweiler used to eat his food. Like I think I honestly had inhaled the full tub in like 90 seconds. My food lasted me well. At the end, I was just a bit restless more than anything else. I wasn't really in pain. So it, it went it went really as well as I could have hoped and I'm absolutely delighted with it. I'll obviously I'll put some images up and stuff. I, I'll show you, but... 
I mean, I'm sure that was awful, but I'll, I'll attach good images. But yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with it. I didn't get my kneecap done, because um, we, we were there for like six hours anyway. So I'm going to go back next week and uh, get my kneecap finished. I had a good idea, so I was like, what are we going to do with the kneecap? You know, it's a strange area to tattoo, obviously. I want the House of Trades sign behind my ear, so I'm going to do that mini as well. So then it's the one theme, which I'm, I'm really excited about as well. I'm really glad, because obviously we're coming into summer, the next four or five months, I'm going to have shorts on all the time, we're going to be on holiday, so I'm, I'm really delighted that I'm going to have the full front of my leg done. But yeah, it, it went so well, and um, I just can't wait to get booked in again. But it was great. I was um, hungry in the end, and I was too hot, and, you know, and I was a bit wriggly and a bit restless. But I have to say, it was a good day, and I think I'd hyped up how painful it was going to be in my head because it was on my thigh that it could only be easier in comparison to that so it was obviously there's you know points of it are uncomfortable and stuff like that but it really it went as well as it could so i'm absolutely delighted and yeah i just can't wait to get back in next big thing is going to be a dragon ball z tattoo up this side of my leg but that's yet to be confirmed as usual tell me your thoughts do you like the tattoo <laughs> what tattoos would you suggest like i say i'm going sci-fi themed so anything you can think of would be cool let me know uh, let me know what tattoos you're planning on getting let me know where you go to get your tattoos i mean i'm not going to be tempted i'm sebastian loyal but i'm still interested to know and yeah just let me know your thoughts in the video in general as always guys thank you so much for the support if you could like share comment subscribe i would be eternally grateful thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you next time